Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Progresso toppers. Um, these are new. I've never seen these anywhere else. We bought these at Kroger. They were $3.39, um, but it's a soup and it's, then it comes with the uh, stuff you put in the soup. Uh, this one is a loaded potato soup, which I love, uh, with fried onion strings, which I also love. So, so let's see how good of a job they do. Um, this one was, it is, it's really tiny. 12.2 ounces or 346 grams. I'm trying to read it through the camera and it doesn't want to focus when you get really close. Um, it is 300 calories for the whole bowl. And here's the other information for you. I'm going to make sure it doesn't focus on anything else. There we go. I think it's good. So there's your other information. So let's see how you fix this thing. Microwave, of course we're going to do the microwave. I don't see any other directions. So... Remove the lid and topper. Um, micro and high for set aside the, the partially peel back film to, to on soup. Okay, so we're going to remove the lid and the toppers. Um, set it aside. Partially peel back the film on on the soup. Micro and high for one and a half minutes. Leave it in the microwave for one minute. Um, It'll be hot. Carefully remove film. Stir thoroughly. If necessary, remove it or microwave an additional 15 to 30 seconds and then add the topper. So basically you're going to take this off. Oh, let me just get it off here. Does it have a, yeah, it's got a little perforated section here. Of course it, of course it didn't uh, tear where I wanted it to. You know, it never does that. It is perforated, I promise. We'll just get that off. All right, so we're gonna take this off. And then we're gonna just lift this up a little bit. Ignore that. We're gonna vent it, basically. And I will probably stick this in a bowl just to make sure it doesn't uh, bubble over, uh, just so it doesn't leak. But anyway, I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, so it's done out of the microwave. If you've never done one of these bowls, where it's a little thing, uh, if you've never done one of these, they, um, when you're in the microwave, um, it sounds like they're gonna explode. I mean, literally, like they pop and um, jump up and down and pop up and down in the microwave. Uh, they, that's one of the reasons I put it in a bowl. If you just put it in there by itself, I have had them before. Um, they'll like literally bounce. It'll be on the microwave and it'll go boom, boom, like bump in the air and, and the whole sideways and everything. If you put it in the bowl, it's less likely to fall over in the microwave, but I have had them pop and bump and actually fall over and spill everywhere. So I generally tend to put them in a bowl or put them on top of a paper plate. That way, at least if it spills, it's not making a complete and total mess. I also stay back next to the microwave while I'm microwaving it to make sure if it does fall over, I can stop the microwave and pick it back up. So just, just give you a little hint. So here's the topping. I'm not gonna dump it all on there because I want, I want it to be crispy. But this is, you open it so you can see what they look like. You could go ahead and dump it all in there if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take these out. I just want you to see what they look like. Um, I'm, they look like little mealworms. Um, I'm going to take them out. That sounds awful, but that's what they look like. Um, I'm going to take them out a few at a time and stick on top. That way I'm getting them fresh and crunchy uh, per bite, and I'm not mixing them all in and getting them soggy. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to dump them in there. So uh, I'm going to take this over the table, let that cool off a little bit, and I'll be back. I like Progresso soup anyway, um, in general. Um, I don't know that, I'm, I think I've had their potato soup before, but I can't remember. So I'm gonna take a spoonful, and I'm just gonna take a few little onions and drop them right on there. That's how I'm gonna eat it. Um, probably won't do that for every one of them, but for this bite, I'll, I'm gonna do that. Now, potato on there. I can smell bacon. Let me just say, those uh, crispy onions smell so good. So probably what I would do ultimately is probably drop a few of these on top. That way I'm not sitting there dropping it per spoon. Drop a few on top and then just scoop up the few at a time when I'm taking a bite. That way I'm getting the flavor in there. I love the addition of the onions. It really does make... Um, not only a flavor difference, but a texture difference, because if they were to put these in beforehand and just mix it all up, um, they'd be soggy, which would be basically an onion. 
So um, having them to where you can smoke them on top and keep them crispy, especially if you don't just dump the whole thing in there, you do a few at a time, um, really adds the flavor, or that fried onion flavor, but it also adds the texture too. That is really, really good. I like that. I'm not, um, I'm not a soup person all the time. I don't like to eat soup like regularly, but I like to eat it occasionally, and this is really good. Yeah, I really like the, the combination of the, the fried eggs. Let me try just the soup by itself. I don't see bacon. Let me put glass on so I can see better. I don't see bacon floating around there. I see, um, I see potatoes and onions. And there's some little, there's some little bits in there. I think it's, I think it's celery. It's either celery or peppers. Well, it's celery. But I don't see any bacon. It didn't, I didn't, yeah, there's a piece. I see a piece of bacon right there. Or at least it looks like bacon. Um, it smelled like bacon, but this kind of looks like bacon. I, I didn't look at the ingredients to see if it has bacon in there, but that's, that's what it smells like. But I do have to say I like that quite a bit. Um, there's no way I can read those ingredients. They're way too small. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say anywhere. Anyway, it says it's loaded potato, so I'm assuming that means it's got some uh, cheesiness to it and some bacon and some onions and celery in there. Um, if you already like Progresso soup, this is definitely worth trying out because the, the additional texture and flavor of those crispy fried onions just puts it over the top. Um, the potato soup, it is potato soup, so it's a little on the plainer side. They're, they could have bumped the bacon and onion up, um, not necessarily the onion because you're getting the crispy onion. They could have bumped the bacon up a little bit more, uh, maybe a little, a little bit cheesier. So it's still not like perfect. But it is really good. I do like the flavors of that. Maybe it needed. It just needs a little bit more flavor. It's a. It's a kind of a flatter un, uh, potato soup flavor. It doesn't seem like loaded potato soup. It seems like just potato soup, which is just potatoes and celery and a cream to make a, to make the soup itself. So it doesn't seem like loaded. If they were going to do loaded, they really need to pile in a little bit more bacon and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I do really really like it. I definitely think you'll enjoy it if you get it. Um, I just wish it had elevated it to the loaded potato. If it had had all that stuff in there to where it truly felt like a loaded baked potato, I would have given it a five all day long. But um, since it didn't quite meet that for me, um, I'm gonna give it a four. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely worth trying out. Catch you next time.